listen to me really good. It's taken me 54 years to prove this. Mm. This kill, whether you like it or not, is the most sophisticated, most even firing, alternative firing kill that you can ever have. And what you find is you get involved as a novice and you start improving your skills and then you reach a point to where you need another more sophisticated kill. And that's where I jumped in at and I started designing and building these kills so I could fire porcelain, so I could fire V-Mix and have it come out. You know, that's all I'm saying. But uh, a lot of times you can, you know, you'll hear a whole lot of stuff, but the bottom line is, as long as your kill is sophisticated as your product, you're all right, and that's what you go by. Don't throw a play that'll go all the way to cone 10 and salt firing and wood firing. Use Soldate 30. It's got a heavy grog in it, and it's beautiful sculpture work, and it's uh, just it's, it's really neat to work with it. Now, I'm going to pull this pot out, and uh, I'm going to use a little bit of horse hair, and... Uh, if any of you all people got some pretty curly locks. <laughs> we thought you were going to become, we're going to see how red we can embarrass you. My hair is so fine, Randy. Is that going to work like Darling, that's what I want. You want some fine stuff? Yes, ma'am. Here, cut it with this. <laughs> now, don't, no, so don't pull hard. him out. Let him cut it out. What? Where nobody can see, just cut about five or six hairs that are about to slip your mouth. And I appreciate you doing that. <laughs> you got one. <laughs> I got, see what happens. You should knew I was coming after you, girl. <laughs> Give it the gray ones if you have any. <laughs> Now, there's a lady back there got pretty long hair, too. <laughs> yeah, you! Hair, and it's actually a violin bow, and then I'm gonna put some boy, that's some pretty hair. Look at that. that and then I'm gonna well, I'm gonna put her hair on there, and I want you to see how delicate you give her a and fine the line is. I ain't giving her nothing. <laughs> He's giving me lots of knowledge. <laughs> give her, my goodness. I just said a discount. I didn't say give her the pot. <laughs> now let's see. Watch this. This is gonna be really hot. See how what a nice subtle subtlety that is right there. You get a nice line, you get that nice smoke trail and stuff like that. Well then, I don't want the inside of the pot to be white. So when you, I don't want you to have to worry about looking there. I just put a piece of scrap in there. Now, let me see your human hair. Now watch how pretty this hair is going to be right here. Damn, I might save that for two bucks. <laughs> Next thing you know, you ain't gonna have no hair. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be chasing her. Come on, baby, I just need one more cut. <laughs> 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 yeah, just, there you go. There you go. Now, now I've kind of let now where the carbon is and and all that. I'm gonna spray with the ferric chloride, and you're gonna see that it's gonna turn into a nice metallic. You see that nice metallic? And I just want to hit the top because I got the whole pot back. I'll set the pot down now. On this end, if it's hot enough, it's a real thin pot. I should have put it underneath there a little bit more, but 
Sometimes it'll begin to smoke and catch a little bit. It's darkening at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's beginning to work a little bit, but you don't want to, you know, you just want it to be subtly gray or something just to break the, the contrast. Now you notice I hadn't sprayed it anywhere else. Well, this pot is so thin to where it's going to cool at a very rapid rate. But now the bottom is the thickest part, so I'm going to... Now, I want you to look at the bottom. See that nice amber color there? Well, now... Can you show us over here? No! <laughs> Your daddy wanted a glass maker. I'm so sorry. <laughs> now, you see, what I like, like right now, I want to do something right now. I want like a burgundy, strong, strong rim. And I know this is pure concentrate. This isn't diluted to a 71 ratio. So what I'm doing here... how much darker and stronger that is. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's more like a burgundy. And now, anybody got a bottle of water? A little bit of water? Do you buy last for a damn water today? Watch. I'm, on, I'm trying to cool the surface down is what I'm trying to do. And you're going, well, why in the hell don't it crack? Isn't that what you're thinking? Uh-huh. Well, the reason for it is, is that I'm cooling the entire thing down. <clears throat> so it's cooling at an even rate. Sometimes you get a pot and you go, oh, God, I'm afraid it's going to break. And you put it halfway in the water and damn sure it breaks. You know, the bottom is 50 degrees and the top's a 1,600. It's got to give, you know. So, anyway, well, what it's doing now. Now I'm going to come back with this and I'm going to make a transition from the burgundy to an amber, to a soft orange. You'll see there's a soft, soft yellow tinge beginning to come to it. Which one was that one? Uh, this was the solution that was seven to one. One part ferric chloride, seven parts water. This was 100%. Okay. Now the pot right here, right now, is basically... 95 right where my middle fingers are. 120 at the bottom. It's too damn hot to touch. <laughs> so. going to hit right along the sides and it's going to go from an amber to this orange ochre so it should be a bright strong orange right here about doing this. Because uh, it's cooled down now? Yeah, it's cooled down enough for me to do it. See how hot that is, how it just lifts up and gives you some really nice color? Yes, they will. They will.
double turn. That's one way to do it. We'll pull out another one. And what we'll do take a brush. Thank you for the hair, babe. I can get out of here before you get some more. She's not coming back to another one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll see her in January. Anybody, anybody want to touch it, hold it, look at it, pass it around. <laughs>